hello everyone and in, in today's lecture we are going to talk about converting and labeled image to a rgb image sometime you need to visualize how your labeled image looks like or uh, you want to display your labeled image in a fancy way so that your users can visualize uh, the labeled uh, image or how uh, how it looks like so for example the last in in the previous lecture we had uh, labeled an image uh, which is uh, something like this who uh, contains the uh, three objects so uh, the labeled image is like this so we want to convert this labeled image into an rgb image so what can we do is we can convert an rgb uh, label to rgb function we pass a labeled image and it will return a uh, labeled rgb image okay so uh, it will be like this so it now it holds a um, three level uh, matrix so here you see the first object is zero in the red domain and uh, all the other background is uh, 255 and if you come to the second uh, which is a green matrix so here we have everything 255 and this is zero and uh, if you come to the third matrix only the third object is zero and all other pixels are 255 so we can also um, display these images with m show l rgb image so now you can see these image have three colors cyan yellow and blue so it basically assign an individual color to all three of disconnected objects so uh, that's a way to display your labeled image in a color format we will apply this example in some bigger image so can so we can recognize the concept more clearly so let's load an image which Im matlab provides this image is called rice.png and this image of rice looks like this this image is this image is from matlab examples images contain different kind of rice uh, different rices scattered on some surface the image by default is grayscale image so we can display the histogram of the image it will also help us to um, brush up our previous learned functions so with the help of mhist function we can display a histogram of the rice image as you can see it looks smooth and most of the pixel lies between 50 to 200 level of light intensity uh, here we have nothing to do with the um, histogram all we have to do is to convert this image into a binary image so we can do this simply by calling i am to bw function so to convert this image into a binary image we all have to do is to call i am to bw function and pass a, a grayscale image the second parameter we have to provide a threshold value mean uh, the light intensity value the above pixel will be labeled as one and the below pixel will be labeled as, will be converted to zero so this way the image will be converted into a logical um, binary image okay so let's say if we i pass a uh, randomly 0 0.3 and uh, i try to display this binary image and see how it looks like 
here you can see that only a uh, lower values uh, uh, the lower rise are properly segmented uh, properly converted into binary but the all above uh, is converted to a large white area we don't want that so we need to change the value of threshold let's try some different value and with the value of 0 0.5 it is pretty a good uh, assumption of the binary image the next thing we can do is to remove uh, some noise and we can um, do this by bw area open function and we will pass the binary image and it will return a second binary image and uh, the uh, pixel value we want to remove is let's say less than 50 and if we try to display this image it will looks like this so here you can see that uh, the small value of pixels are gone uh, we can try uh, some larger number and see what will happen here you see some uh, rises are also gone from the bottom of the image but it's okay for now so let's convert this binary image into a labeled image it will be look like this the way we will do is simply the previous function that we call bw label function and we will pass the second binary image and it now uh, provide us a labeled image which is an l if we try to display this image as it is we, it is not different from a binary image so to properly visualize a label image we need to convert that labeled image into an rgb image so how can we do that we simply have to pass this labeled image to label to rgb function so let's uh, do this and we call uh, we, uh, the returned image is l2 and label to rgb function you can name any uh, any name you like to your returned image and that's all for now if we display this l2 image it will be a nice color image so here we have our returned rgb image of our labeled image so if we want to find out how many um, objects it found we will simply print out the num variable and total 79 objects are found in this image so that's all for today's lecture uh, see you in next one